In this video, I want to talk about 3D coordinate systems. Now, for the most part, the 3D systems are identical in every way that we discussed in 2D systems with the, uh, the extra orthogonal axis, except in very one important way, which I'll highlight here. All right, so let's, let's say I have um, some positive x-axis. And when I went to a two-dimensional system, I had to add a, uh, a y-axis in uh, an orthogonal direction. Now here I chose it to be up, but I didn't have to choose that. If this were positive x, I could very well have chosen positive y to be down. Both of these are, are completely fine. Again, this different choices of coordinate systems, the how the measurements, the quantitative measurements we take may have different numbers, but they're perfectly acceptable coordinate systems. And in fact, you can tell that they're equivalent if you can take one, take one, and rotate it into the other. So, for example, if I if I were to 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 take this sort of grab onto hold of the y-axis, flip it out of the screen, and rotate it around the x-axis 180 degrees, I would get a coordinate system that looks exactly like that one. Fine. All right. So um, now let's go to three dimensions. So let's say I start with a positive x, a positive y, and now I need to add a third dimension, which I'll call the positive z-axis. Now, the first thing, of course, it, is this axis needs to be, I mean, Cartesian coordinates, so it needs to be orthogonal to both the, x, the y and the x-axis. So, if you think about that, the x-y-axis makes a plane, sort of the plane containing the screen, and the z-axis has to be perpendicular to that plane. Well, that gives us two choices. It can be either in or out of the screen. And so the question is, since we have mentioned before, we have choices in how we set up our coordinate system, like before, plus y could be up, plus y could be down, does it matter whether the positive z-axis is going into or out of the board? And here, the answer is yes. It absolutely does. For this coordinate system, positive z must be out, I call it the board, out of the screen, out of the page, plus z must be out. Having z into the screen is not an acceptable coordinate system. <laughs> not acceptable coordinate system for this class. And let me, let me explain that. This is called a uh, right-handed coordinate system. System. So if you had chosen, say, z, positive z, in to the screen, this is a left handed coordinate system. So first, let's decide how we can tell the difference. Okay, here's one where it would be nice to have some video, but I'll have to walk you through it. You have to take your right hand, take right hand, and you point your index finger, index finger, in the positive x direction. Then point your other fingers along the positive y direction. Remember, right hand. So point your index finger along the positive x and your other fingers along the positive y and ask yourself, where is your thumb if you if you stick out your thumb, where is it pointing? So, stick out thumb, and for this one, you will find, if it's along 
it, well, in either of these, you will find that your thumb sticks out in the direction that's out of the screen. So that's the the definition of a right-handed coordinate system. And so, so that's the okay. So that's the first step. How do you define a right-handed coordinate system? And at at the moment, that's how uh, we're going to define it, right? Using our right hand. The second question is, why is it any different? Why is it any different than a, a left-handed coordinate system? And the answer is that for a left-handed coordinate system you cannot well for either one you cannot take one and through any type of rotation rotate it into the other you can rotate this for any arbitrary number of rotations and it will never reproduce a coordinate system that looks like a right-handed coordinate system like up here a simple rotation made them look identical but that won't happen for these two so in this case where for example if we were to grab onto the the positive z-axis and rotate it around uh, 180 degrees so that it were pointing in the if we were to rotate that and you so rotate it around so that the positive z was then pointing out of the page out of the page again screen then the positive y-axis would be pointing down instead of up which is not the same as this one so right-handed coordinate systems and left-handed coordinate systems are fundamentally different and you can't just use one or the other and the the other worthwhile thing to know is they are the only unique uh, Cartesian coordinate systems you would either have the every Cartesian coordinate system is either left-handed or right-handed so so the first step how do you define a right-handed coordinate system that we know second step is uh, why they are different and so they can't you can't rotate one into the other and then the final fact you need to know is that our conventions for math in physics all use right-handed coordinate systems so as we move in to physics that requires all three dimensions there's going to be a number of mathematical rules and conventions those rules and conventions only hold for right-handed coordinate systems which means if you use a left-handed coordinate system uh, you will be wrong okay so let's just let's just do a couple examples here so let's say I have uh, positive X that's going up and positive y that's to the left where is positive z well again I'm going to talk you through it though I can't show you I point my index finger along the positive x that's up with my right hand and then point my other fingers and you should do, be doing the same along the positive y axis I find my thumb pointing out of the screen okay so now I'm going to introduce a, a couple other uh, pieces of notation this symbol right here it means out is it is the direction of of a coordinate system or a vector or something that's out of a page or a screen or a board this notation indicates the direction in and and the way to remember this is you think about an arrow if the arrow is coming out at you you see the point that's the dot if the arrow is going away from you you see the feathers and that's the cross anyway so these are the notations that mean out or in so if Z is coming out and I want to to look at perpendicularly I don't want to have sort of this this uh, axis coming off in perspective I would show it like that all right let's do another one so here I'll say that's the positive y and I'm going to say x is coming out so where 
is a positive z and of course po i mean positive z for a right-handed coordinate system so in this case index is out and my other fingers are pointing up and when i do that i find my thumb pointing off to the left which is this way positive z all right let's do um one let's do where we were getting where we're given z here's plus x and here's plus z so now you have to put your index finger along x and your thumb along z and then if you make your other fingers perpendicular to your index finger right that's how we sort of did it before what direction is that pointing so if my index finger is along x thumb along z my index fingers are pointing in to the uh, screen so i'd call my y-axis my positive y-axis is into the screen one more and i think we'll have it in this case now i've got plus y now plus z and now i just have to play with it it's okay in and and what i would do here is i would just try one my the x axis has to be in or out of the screen so what direction does my index finger have to point so that when i point my other fingers down my thumb points off to the left well if i go out of the screen and then with my index finger and then have my other fingers pointing down my thumb points off to the right so if i point index finger into the screen my other fingers down my the my thumb points off to the left so that tells me that x has to be in okay so let me give you one hint about using right hand rules this one hint is is uh, very important to do right hand rules correctly and that hint this is this is a pro tip here which is use your right hand <laughs> Yes, if you use your left hand for right hand rules, you will get the wrong answer. And that may seem silly, but let me tell you something. Let's say, for example, you are in a class taking a test, and you happen to be right-handed. Now you're not thinking, you're working furiously away, writing with your right hand. And all of a sudden you come to a problem where you have to use the right hand rule. Guess which hand is free? your left hand is free and so there's a real uh chance if you're not thinking about it to use the hand that's free to do the rules while you hold your pencil in your right hand but if you're right-handed then that would be your left hand and you'll get the wrong answer so remember you can be especially like in in stressful situations you can forget to use your right hand when using the right hand rules so that's an important step as well, important part to get the right answer as well.